Hello everyone, so today I'm going to edit more files in Capture One and if you would like to try it out, you can try the links in the description below to support my channel. Uh, so uh, the Capture One, I loaded a couple of the Canon photos and as well as a couple of the X-T3 photos um, just to see the renderings and um, I can see that the initial rendering, uh, it has the Canon um, Center profile so if we go back to here, it's a Canon USR generic and uh, there's uh, this available profile only and but I think it's good to start. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit more exposure, maybe the brightness instead. And then the contrast. So Highlight save, uh, we can adjust that as well. So for the color, um, if we don't want the green too strong, we can desaturate the green to make it into a different tone. Or if you want to have a full color without the green, that's fine too. So we can just leave it for now for the that green like that and um, we can reduce a little bit of the yellow as well so okay so let me do a crop i want to retain that uh, circle right there and slightly crop it down okay so this time, this uh, the space on the right still have a lot of space. And then coming down tighter also. Okay, so I'm gonna add a layer just like what we did last time. Just do a. And because the focusing point is mostly here. Okay, so that's good. And then I can do the sharpening in here. Radius threshold. Um, the exposure seems too strong. Let me go back to the background. Okay, so that's good. And then let's check out the before. So that's before and after. Let's see the sharpness. Yep, it's uh, sharper on the layer. So let me go to the next one so I can copy and then paste it to this one. Without the layer, um, I'm going to adjust the background. Highlight save, I reduce even more for the highlight save for this one. And then 4x5 crop and uh, slightly rotate or some of you if you don't want to crop right now you can just crop it later before you uh, post on the instagram so let me see
adjust the size of the brush and then so update the sharpness radius threshold okay so that's good you can see the before and after it's much sharper um, on the on the face area so that's good and then the next one okay let me update the background brightness a little bit more maybe the shadow a little bit more shadow next one so let me adjust the brightness it was a foggy day also so it's um it's perfect for moody vibes also so if you want moody style it's good to sit in the foggy uh, weather so let me adjust the cropping a little bit I want to crop the edges of those so that it is more complete here Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna add a layer to the seven press M on the keyboard and then gonna sharpen up a little bit more here. Increase the amount of sharpening radius threshold okay so that's let's see before after is much brighter and uh, here has more detail also so that's it for this one and then next one um, let's adjust the contrast exposure The brightness is fine for this one, but the um, highlight save uh, definitely need to be there. And then um, let me press the M. So just doing it pretty quick. And then let me add among threshold and then do the crop so each photo is around um, three to four minutes right now about uh, but if it's in the same location it's fine we can just copy and paste the same background um, so I think we can crop here Okay, so I think this one's fine. Let me copy this one since it's in the same background. I'm gonna adjust that and then um, press M, update the different mask for the sharpening. Um, increase the amount, radius, and then threshold. So later, I um, next time I will do one more on this set uh, using the Lightroom as well. So um, just to have some different comparison, and so let me s slightly uh, get more headroom in here. Slightly rotate. Make sure the lines in the steps are parallel, uh, consistent alignment with the ground also. So. That's why it was a little bit tilted. Um, just to make sure that it has 
um, nice balance there. So slightly adjust that. Okay, so let me do it before, after. Yeah, it's better. Okay, so this is the half body shots. Let me add some contrast. Reduce much of the highlight save. And then let me add the uh, the mask on the uh, sharpness. Okay, so that's good. And then sharpening radius and then threshold. So these are the uh, same uh, similar pattern that I'm editing um, quickly and later in the uh, in the mobile you can adjust the setting as well but these are the main one that I'm trying to go through um, there's some uh, white uh, edges it might be annoying on top so in that case we can crop it even uh, tighter we can do a tight uh, crop also so let me try it out yep so we can do a tight crop to without the uh, white on the top the last uh, three files they are all uh, xt3 fujifilm xt3 so i'm just gonna do a quick um, layer on top okay so that's good among radius and then threshold before and after it's very slightly different because it's backlight and then i'm gonna update the background contrast exposure we can reduce a little bit highlight safe okay so there's just some minor things you can just do it quickly And then update the contrast exposure slightly reduce a little bit more brightness we can reduce with a silhouette uh, style um, this is good and then the next one first I'm gonna do the crop for this one slightly rotate you can see the background has to be aligned in the sunset horizon 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 so it's around here is fine and then let me add a layer okay so that's good and then increase the sharpness radius and then threshold okay so that's good and then um, that's it. Uh, so these are the three quick uh, XT3 and then couple Canon files. Just want to see um, if it's good. And then yeah, thanks so much. If you want to try out the 30 days uh, capture one, you can try it in the links below. And thanks so much for support and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.